G'day, I'm Mick Angel here from Mick Angel Hears Australia. Right now, I'm in a place called Walsh Bay. And uh, as you can see, got a very spectacular view of the Harbour Bridge behind me. Um, this particular location was where the ships used to come in and offload their goods imported from other countries. And also, we put the goods on from this country to export to other countries. Now Walsh Bay, uh, there's current warehouses here. These, these warehouses here, they started building them at about the First World War, but because of the war and shortage of money, the, uh, warehouse, the, the warehouses took a little time before they finally finished it, about 1918, 1920. So the wharves operated from First World War to about the mid 1970s, and before that, they had thousands of men working on the docks. And these wharves would have been a hive of activity. These wharves declined in use. So by the mid 1970s, they had uh, pretty much stopped using them. And uh, in the 1980s, there was talk about demolishing them all, demolishing all these wharves. But then they realised, you know what? We can do something better with this. And they transformed the wharf into something new. Yes, the warehouses here, Walsh Bay, got a new lease of life as posh apartments. But, as we can see up there, still reminders of Sydney Harbour's maritime working past. Not a bad place to live, isn't it? Apartment by the water. Your boat parked outside the front. You want to go for a bit of a cruise, Hop out the front door, hop on your boat, and away you go. Also, 1901, there was a bubonic plague here in Sydney, which killed quite a number of people. And the plague was, well, it is caused by the flea on a black rat, and they Reckon that a ride here at Walsh Bay, the rats that scampered ashore, carried the plague into Sydney. So, yes, there's one way of getting diseases, plagues, a ride by ship. Couldn't pick a better place. The fleas and rats must decide they want a holiday. Yes, they say that Australia's wealth was built on the sheep's back. Now, we are in what was one of the main warehouses for storing wool here on the wharves. They would load the wool onto this elevator or load goods on the elevator. Bung it in there and up and down, loading. The wool was then shipped to England where it was sent to the mills there, then it came back as textiles and you know, fabric, clothes, uniforms, what happened. That's where they sent it back here. But um, yes, Australia was built on the sheep's back. Uh, that was from the 1880s right up to the about 1950s.
Yes, the invent of containerization spell at the end of the Walsh Bay Wharves. But as you can see, everything was shut in containers. So, it's interesting that I'm sitting here and it's very quiet at the point in time.